Hi, so um, I recently acquired this uh, Black & Decker electric trimmer who comes with the automatic feed spool mechanism. Um, the idea is you don't have to bump feed, right? But what I learned is, in my case, it was feeding too quickly. So I've been searching on the web to find a solution. So far, what I have learned is a lot of people indicated that it could be the mechanism here that is worn out. Um, so that's one thing I'm trying to uh, investigate and determine whether that is something uh, I need to replace. And the other thing is I learned that some people talk about when the AFS is not actually feeding because some of the resistance on the spool. Because some people complain about they get a new spool and they does not feed and does not rotate freely and it has too much resistance. So my thought is, I want to try a couple of things. I want to actually, for in my case, when it's feeding too fast, I want to put a little bit more resistance uh, to the either the pivot. This is the mechanism that allows the AFS to advance uh, due to some centrifugal force. And so you can see, I already put, I already experimented. So basically what I did is I I use a Teflon tape, you know, the one that we typically use for plumbing. And that way I can add some resistance to it uh, to both to the pivot, the lever mechanism. You see how loose this thing. So I presume if I get a brand new one, this will has a little bit more resistance to it. So I'm kind of like trying to use um, the Teflon tape in place. Uh, the other thing I used a similar thing is I want to add some resistance here, but not to the point of making it is stick, right? And so earlier what I did is uh, I did this modification and indeed it was helping. So it's not feeding. So what happened is I will wind up this, um, of course this is not beautifully wound, wound but uh, earlier what I did is um, I would consume maybe say a foot of string in just merely for my front yard to do the edge. My front yard is not very big. Uh, we are talking about maybe um, 50 feet at the most, uh, if I just do a trim, trimming uh, for the edging, and then I will consume the whole spool. That was way too fast. So after I make the modification, uh, I can see that I was just doing some basic trimming and is not, it still feeds, the, the AFS still works, but it's not just spewed out like crazy. Anyway, I want to share this information because I see some people, they were frustrated with AFS and they basically disable it. Um, in here, like I say, I can use the plier to pull it out. Uh, let me clean that little piece. So for example, let me just add a little bit more. I just basically Cut a small piece of this. Lay this on top. Tap in a little bit. And then I, because if you look at it, this, nothing really is worn. And, but I also noticed that some people complain about the tolerance. Um, and so anyway, I'm just gonna push this in. Now, when I pivot this now, 
it's not like really really loose it, it does add a little bit of resistance to it but i know that this probably needs reinstall or remodifying this from time to time because this teflon tape will wear out um but anyway so this is this is the tip i want to share and it seems like this is giving me good results and the afs still works and like i say some people they were frustrated with this and what they ended up doing was they basically use a tape and disable the afs altogether um I didn't want to do that. I mean, that's the reason I want to get this opposed to my old one. Um, so I, I'm experimenting with just adding a little bit more resistance because the parts, like if you look at the online review, some people never complain about it, but a lot of people complain about how fast this thing feeds. And I think one of the problems is just the build quality. Uh, this is a lower end, lower price point trimmer. So I don't expect Black & Decker to spend a lot of the engineering effort or manufacturing effort trying to make this a very uh, precision part. So there's a lot of tolerance play in there. So some people may have the, 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 the parts just that provide just the right amount of resistance. Some people get a little bit too loose. Some people get it that's too tight. And so in order for this system to work, I mean, I think it's a brilliant design, except it's just the manufacturer part. The position is just not there to make it a consistent performance. I hope this would, uh, this you can try this. I mean, it seems to work for me and hopefully this will work for you also.